From Software is a mainstay in the gaming community. The games they have made in the last 15 years have garnered a huge fan base and a community that loves every ounce of it, but I'm not here to sing my praises for FromSoft. My goal is to take a look at every boss from the Soul series, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring, and give it a rating. Rating things like presentation, lore significance, music, and gameplay. So let's jump into the next boss on the tier list, the Adjudicator. The Adjudicator boss is the first boss in the Shrine of Storms Archstone. The first area in the Shrine of Storms is called the Island's Edge, and it's one of my favorite levels in Demon Souls. A constant storm crashes loud sounds of thunder, and the soul remains that linger on inhabit these skeletons that are the main enemy here. It's a great level, but it can be difficult for new players to come here early. A quick tip is that the skeletons are particularly weak to blunt weapons. So find a mace. Also, if these flying manta rays are causing you trouble, they are fairly easy to kill with a bow, or use the thief ring to lower your aggro distance. Going through the boss gate, there is no cutscene. Instead, there is a large hole in the ground, and as you approach, you can see this grotesque boss. There are stairs to head down to his level, but as you head down, he attempts to attack you with his long, nasty tongue. You can also hear a bird squawking out before each attack. That bird is the true demon, shining golden upon this gluttonous monster's head. You might initially be surprised that attacking this boss directly is doing no damage, but eventually doing enough damage to this grievous wound on his side will bring him down so you can attack the bird. The simplest way is to just shoot arrows or magic from above and you'll eventually take him down. There's a bit of lore here that we can talk about as well. This island was inhabited by an ancient group long ago and has essentially been turned into a graveyard for legendary heroes of Boletaria to be buried. As long as their soul is deemed worthy, the colorless fog has caused the souls and spirits of this island to grow aggravated and restless, a fine place for demons to feast on long lost lingering souls. One of those demons is the Adjudicator, a guardian and the judge that deemed souls worthy to be buried in the hero's catacombs, who has gotten fat from eating demon slayers that attempt to delve deeper into the shrine. The bird that controls the body is probably the most interesting part of the Adjudicator, but also the most mysterious. There's not much to say about it besides it being a symbol of judgment, and sadly, it's being corrupted by the fog. The music between remake and original are fairly similar, just one is a bit more modern. It gives off a slow, lumbering sound with low horns and booming bass, but the high strings come in giving the impression of the bird controlling the monster. Let's listen to both of the songs back to back. So now, to judge the Adjudicator. I personally think this boss was a cool idea in theory, but the end result isn't great. You either stay at range and hardly interact with the boss at all, or you get up close with this Chungus and do the same strategy we did with the Tower Knight, only this time you are in an incredibly tight space so the camera can get janky. He has one move to avoid, and sometimes his weak spot will be hugged up against the wall and you can't even hit it. It's the same such a cool area has this really lame boss at the end, and there is an argument that the area is a bit more difficult than the others so the boss is a little easier but that kind of gets thrown out the window when most players know the skip i'm going to give adjudicator a d what do you guys think did i give this boss a fair rating make sure to like and subscribe the next video and share it to your friends who enjoy demon souls feel free to join the discord channel as well i'll see you in the next video where we'll do an analysis of the flame lurker